get set and play button. So this is a Robo Hobo replay. It's in Turbo Cross. I just woke up and I started the game and we're going to let this go ahead and play um, because I'm not in the game at the beginning. I joined the game a little bit later. So let's see who all's in the game. Wow, not that many people. Yeah, 3v4 to start. Um, other people will be joining the game. I will be on the hot shots, so we'll pay attention to them. And lots of penguins and blue, I believe, are the only two people here whose names I recognize. Lots of penguins is a pretty good guy. Um, and I know blue, but unfortunately I didn't get to see too much of blue. Ooh, just got killed. This girl, Swede girl, I guess? Like a Swedish girl? Something? Um, very aggressive assassin. We'll watch her for a little while. Toggle the HUD, turn off the controls. Yeah, I noticed all game she's running her- oh my gosh, look at that, that's disgusting. I, when I play assassin, I do not grapple anywhere near that easily. Um, I've played against assassins where they can roll, they're in front of you, and they'll do their roll move, and they'll somehow end up just enough behind you that they'll grapple and get a backstab from it. There she's very smart and doesn't grapple him yet, um, because she's got a teammate right there. So instead she uh, just slashes around a bit. Alright, for the most part I'm watching this section because I want to see uh, a little bit of, maybe pick up some tips on Assassin. Stun the bots? I don't stun the bots. Not in uh, Turbo. I don't stun them that often. I'll stun Fujis. I love stunning Fujis. If I... I know... Have I gone over the bots before? I think I did in the first video, but uh, the next time we see a bot wave here. So, yeah, I want to see like a, a little bit more of a clear bot wave. Calm down, jump back up. And a lot of assassins use cloak. Um, they think... I mean, they just turn into like kind of a solid blue or solid reddish color. And I guess maybe for some people they have difficulty seeing them. I don't think cloak is that... Uh, useful. Oh, well, that's not bots. Show me the bots. Okay, there we go. So these little guys are called Slims. Um, they're, they're from the original Monday Night Combat. And then this guy right here is called a Shady Bot. They're, of course, Slims die in one or two hits, or maybe a couple hits in uh, Supercross. They're very weak. Um, and then the Shadies have a, uh, more hit points. And then the Fujis are the big fat bots that come out a little bit later. Um... And we'll see them. We'll see them. So they're outnumbered, but they're doing pretty well. And it seems like a lot of that, um, the assassin's holding this lane all by her lonesome, essentially. And uh, I'm sure Lord, lots of penguins is owning the other side as well. In fact, let's go look and take a look at lots of penguins for a little bit. Wah, wah. There we go. So yeah, here he is. He's got his little juicer hat, spunky juicy hat. And, uh, no, Spunky Cola. That's what it is. And he's taking out, uh, taking out bot waves. Boom. Oh, there's, he's helping the assassins land this time. Assault can fly. He's got an assault rifle with aim down sight. He just got stabbed in the back and died and fell through the floor. Um, what else do they have? Oh, somehow there's two assassins on the other team. Well, that's not possible. There we go. Uh, he has a bomb... His jetpack, everyone else's jetpack, they can jet for a few seconds and then they fall down. His um, can actually let him fly at a certain height for uh, a while. And the more you level it up, the longer you can stay at that height. He also has a grenade launcher. I hate his grenades because we've seen me play Carl a lot. Carl has what are called his bouncing buddies. When you shoot them, wherever they kind of land, they bounce in place there. And then they explode after a certain amount of time. Assaults, um, grenades bounce off walls and they immediately explode if they hit an enemy. So, like, as Carl, I can lay, uh, grenades on the ground and the enemy bots can walk right through them and, you know, they'll explode behind them. Whereas for Assault, his grenades automatically explode when they hit. And, uh, they can bounce off, they bounce much further off walls than a bouncing buddy will. Those are the Fuji bots, those big guys. They have tons of hit points. You don't really notice it in turbo because you have so much, your uh, attack strength is so much higher to begin the game, but it's there. Okay, so now I am not on the other team yet, which means who leaves? Because when I was in there, I know that we have him. I know there's veteran Carl, 
um, Assassin and Cheston, so there's Captain Spark must leave. And I don't remember a tank being on the other team when I was playing. See, the thing about Turbo Mode is a lot of people come and go. What? Um, three. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit before I join in. I do know that when I joined the game, I was level four. And when you join a Turbo game, you are you join at the lowest leveled persons on... I don't know if it's on your team or in the whole game. Um, but you'll join at their level. Yeah, so here he can fly. And because he's flying like that, you can't grapple him. It's impossible to grapple um, while he's flying, except for one little thing. And that was, um, I guess back in the day, assaults used to use their fly skill and stay just like an inch above the ground. And it was causing problems of some sort. So they made it so that you can air grapple. If a person is close enough to the ground, you can grapple them. And it is a source of absolute jerkiness for me. Um, I'll pop up on a on a jump pad and I will get grappled or I will pop up on a you know you you're jumping or you're using your jetpack and you can get grappled while you're going up or while you're coming down before you've actually hit the ground and you think you're safe. Um so I don't like that as much. Man, that assassin is doing work. Ooh, let's not do that. Okay. So let's go back. I'm still not going to end the game yet. I want to watch a more assassin play because uh, I do know that this was Assassin was a very aggressive Assassin. She didn't have that many deaths by the end of the game. But I do know she died a couple times. I think like seven or so. But she had a lot of kills. She was very aggressive. Um, of all of the characters, the Commandos have the best escapes. And I think that Assassin... I've only ever played Wascot like twice. And I've played Captain Spark, I think, twice. And I'm absolutely terrible with both of them. Um, but I think Assassin has a lot of really good escape skills. Captain Spark has his teleport, which is ridiculously good, because you can teleport right through walls and don't have to worry about, uh, enemy players. Uh, how long? Oh, she must have leveled up her cloak. I would myself not stay in there that long. Okay. Oh, wait. Pause. I just joined the game. Here we are. I'm leveling up. I came in. I'm level four. What's kind of cool with Robo Hobo, um, I'm using the Los Muertos uniform. This red dot here is his eye. He has one eye, but you can put glasses on and then he looks kind of like a Muppet. I like it. So we'll watch me from here on. Okay. So Robo Hobo used to be a robot DJ. Um, M what was his name? I, I don't remember his particular name, but it was some, you know, it was like MC Robo and the Funky Bunch or something like that. Um, so I come into the game. The One of the worst things when you come into a turbo game is you don't really know the situation. There's a little bit of uh, an indicator with the bot lane indicators, but those are broken right now. They don't always show you bots. Um, I remember playing a game yesterday where the bot lane indicator was empty, like all the bots were dead, except there was a jackpot in our, uh, destroying our money ball. And that's kind of ridiculous, because I was on the other lane and had no clue that there was a jackpot. So his primary weapon, which you'll see me use most of the time, shoots out these slow-moving uh, music sound projectile things. Uh, they do a couple things. One, here I'm going around and I'm saving my teammates from this assassin. Because I do know that um, for her, I found out quickly that uh, if you shoot her a couple times, she'll run away because she wants to stay alive, which is a good a good response. So it means you just uh, do a little counter aggression and she'll run away. There are other assassins that maybe they'll think that they're better than you. Maybe they are actually better than you. And they know that a little aggression isn't enough to get you uh, out of there. Yeah, see, she won't even come bother with me. She was going after our other people. Okay, so those slow-moving projectiles, they're awesome in that they go right through enemies and deal full damage. So you can kill all kinds of bots with uh, Robo Hobo, and I do. I kill all kinds of bots. That right there is one of my skills. There's a sound blast that comes from the speakers on your shoulders. It will knock back an enemy if they're close to you, and it'll knock you. It'll always knock you backwards, too. So I use that as my primary escape tool. Um, that's also how you uh, stun bots. If you hit bots with it, they stun. I don't think it works on turrets. I do know it works on bots. Um, so yeah, this projectile. So in addition to moving through things, it also explodes when it hits a wall or the ground. And you can do double damage that way. 
So you'll see that I'm constantly jumping and firing it. It's because I want it to... And here I'm trying to get in and save our veteran. And there we go. Veteran is saved. This guy made me angry, so I'm going to go get him. And, oh, ran out of bullets. Need more bullets. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Boom, and you're dead. Um, That's his secondary weapon, is the sound shotgun. It's It has a ridiculously long range. Um, the visual effect ends at a certain distance, but the damage effect goes even further. And here I see this guy standing around, so we'll just get him. There we go. Um, yeah, so there I am jumping and I'm doing double damage, because the shot's going through the bot's dealing damage, then exploding, and the explosion's dealing damage. Um, <clears throat> wow, running out of things to tell you about him. Alright, so he's got his, uh, those are his two main weapons, the shotgun and the, uh, the gr it's it's a rocket launcher, kind of. That's basically what it is. Here's this guy pissing me off again. He's going to try and get out of here. I think I'm going to let him, yeah, because uh, Assassin comes in and I'm not dealing with that. That's my second skill. You can see I threw down a boom box on the ground. It's called the Ghetto Blaster. Um, it Anybody that gets in range of that gets slowed. And so I also use that usually as an escape tool. I'll sometimes use it as a... Um, an offensive tool where if I'm going to attack someone, I'll throw it down so that they can't escape. I'll try and throw it, you know, behind them so that they can't escape as easily. But for the most part, or I'll use it if my if my teammate is attacking someone, um, I'll run forward and throw that down. So there, because I joined the game late, I didn't even know that the Annihilator was up for that one. Um, I guess, like, the game didn't tell me. Maybe the audio was bugged or something. And there, because we lost the Annihilator, Blue, our assassin, gets fed up um, and leaves. Either that or maybe the other assassin was doing work on her and uh, just kind of got fed up. Felt like there was no team. I don't know. That's kind of why you play turbos, because if you want to just leave, you can just leave. So here, I think I'll stun him. Do I? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. I did stun him. I think there's a couple times I might have been thinking that I didn't want to stun him because I was afraid of uh, Assault or Assassin coming after me, and that's my escape tool, is to slam down the uh, that sound blast. I, I don't know the official names of most of his moves. So here I am, I'm just doing work on bots, kill all the bots, kill them all the time. And Spark's there, and Carl's there, and Assassin is there, and they're causing all kinds of trouble, and I'm jumping around trying not to die. Our Cheston was very aggressive, um, but not aggressive in the same way as Assassin. Of the Enforcers, Cheston has, well, I since I normally play Gunner, Cheston has pretty good escape skills. And this guy, I think I, I kill him here because he upset me. Yeah, he's got like one hit left. And there we go, finally. I was trying to get him and uh, my shotgun kept hitting the bots instead of him. And it's like he literally had just one tiny bit of hit points left. That's all I needed. And this is where I start getting frustrated, because now I feel like I have to hold both lanes. Because um, I keep going back and forth between the two lanes, and whatever lane I'm not on keeps getting pushed. And of all the things in Turbo, that is the thing that upsets me the most. Is when I have a team where I feel like I have to... Here I walk in between the juice. Because I'm full juice, you can see the little purple glowy effect on me. So I don't want to get more juice. Uh, I'm going to leave that for my teammates. And here's Scramblers. Those big ugly... Not the big fat one, but the other guys, the skinny ones with the spikes on them. Those are called scramblers. When they get close enough to you, you can't use any of your skills. Um, and I believe that also includes uh, grapples. And if you're one of the pros with a roll like Assassin, you can't use your roll either. So you it, it locks you down, essentially. You can still shoot your gun. And uh, what it'll do is it walks up and it follows you around. All the rest of the bots in the game, they follow a path. The path on the ground there. But Scramblers, they don't care about paths. They come right at you. So kill that. I think I try... Nope, I let her get it because I'm full on juice. And so, and I know that that's a good player. That's Mego, right? You can't see her name yet. That's There it is. Mego950 is our uh, combat girl. And I know Mego. Um, I want to say that when I remember the name Mego, I, uh, she was playing Assassin. But... Right now, Combat Girl, and I know you keep your Combat Girl happy, and she will keep you happy with plenty of uh, a safe kitty nest to run back to, because now the enemies aren't going to walk in there. Well, except for a stupid assassin. 
and everybody else is going to stay away. So in turbo mode, that lets... Oh, this is where I wreck face. I juice, I get the kill on the assassin, I get the kill on the support. I go ahead and uh, get the kill on that Carl. Yep, and so that's a... Uh, it was a super kill streak at that point, but I think that's also a multi-kill. Because I killed three people in a row, like, you know, right next to each other. Yep, stun that bot. Go ahead and... Since now I've given up all of my juice, I go ahead and grab the juice. Yep, too bad, Chestin. That's my juice. I killed that uh, Fuji. And now, yep, there is the assassin. So I toss that down, so if she wants to chase me back in the tunnel, she can't. And then the one thing I hate when I'm playing as Robo Hobo, I most people who play Robo Hobo use the shotgun almost all of the time. Um, and it's it's a better weapon for killing pros. But I don't like to kill pros. My job uh, in this game is to kill bots. And Robo Hobo kills bots so well. He's such a good bot killer that um, I, st I shy away from his uh, shotgun. I use his... Yeah, see, this is me again. Like, we've got pushed up all over there. But now, well, you have to come all the way back here and start killing off bots and protecting our money ball. And Mego is there... And I think, yeah, this is where she repays the favor. She's got full juice, so she makes sure to leave that juice for me. So here, I'm going to go ahead and wipe out this bot wave. And then, I think, do I head upstairs? Yeah. I head upstairs because I know that the assault was up there, so I want to make sure he's gone. And he is. And the uh, ejector's off, so I go ahead and just jump right down. And once again, do work, son. Look at how quickly I just walk right through those bots. They don't stand a chance. <clears throat> His last skill is um, he sends out these little bots. And it's a skill that honestly is very, very strong um, in the game. It's almost broken. And uh, a lot of people have complained about it. And here I have to escape. I think. Yeah, there we go. Run backwards here. Make sure I stay alive. Shoot that guy. Yeah, he sends out these little bots, and what they do is they lock onto a pro, and then they kind of fly very erratically and shoot at that pro, and they have um, quite a bit of hit points, too. In fact, when they brought him out, um, this was mostly a problem in Supercross. They uh, had as many, they had like maximum hit points starting at level one. So their hit points were bugged and they weren't going up as you leveled. They just started at max. And so they were like impossible to kill. And if you started a Supercross game, leveled up your uh, bots to level 2, and then just locked them onto a pro with low hit points, like an assassin, well, not really an assassin because they could run away easily, but like a sniper or a Leo or something. Yeah, it would just wreck face. They would die just from those little bots. You can see maybe a little bit there. Um, oop, got to bring up the menu. I'll try and do it the next time they pop up. They just look like little cassette tapes with bits of um, the tape hanging down below them. So here I'm looking, I'm looking, I throw down my uh, slow beam. And here's this guy. And here I get a... I'm lucky... Oh! Pause. Let's do... Is this free camera? Yes. So... How do I go up? I don't know how you go up. Whoa, no. Okay. Turn off free cam. Go back to me. Turn on free cam. Move forward. But there they are. Those are the bots up in the corner. That's probably not the best shot of them, but there they go. So what these guys are going to do, they're going to fly around him and then just shoot him with little laser beams that do damage. Um, they're kind of annoying in that the, the sound they make when they do damage is the same sound as Wascot hitting you. And, uh, alright, so, hit play again. Turn that off. Yeah. Um, I think that they're pretty cheap, based on, uh, myself playing. So there, I, I managed to kill, I juice up and kill the assault. Almost their whole team was dead, so I feel very safe getting the Annihilator myself. Even if I didn't have any teammates. Um, there was only one more guy on their team that would have been alive. The... Yeah, I feel like the bots are a bit cheap, um, just from when I've been hit by the bots. Um, particularly with how much damage they do in the early game. So I, on my own, do not level them up. I think this is the only time I die, is that I get in here, and uh, unfortunately there's too many of them. So we at first we seem to be uh, doing some work on them. The assault's there, he punches me, and I'm like, oh thanks, because now I can escape more easily. 
But unfortunately, their Wascot, with his frickin' crook hook roll, a, those commandos can cover pretty much the entire game map in one move with that kind of stuff. Assassin with her jump and roll, uh, Spark with his teleport and roll. They all just go so very far, it's very difficult to escape them. Um, do I come back to life or do we win before? Yeah, well, yeah, because the, the shields aren't even down yet. Well, no, the shields are down. Okay, so here we go. You can see the uh, in the indicator up at the top that their their money ball is gonna die before I even be uh, before I'm even able to do anything. Ooh, words, use them. Anyway, yeah, I think that the robots are pretty cheesy, so I don't level them up on purpose um, until uh, kind of mid or mid game. I do offense, sound blast, defense. Offense, sound blast, defense, and I just keep going that way um, for the whole level. Now, is this this is no longer the replay, so the time's going to count down. But you can see I went eight one five, and I had 145 bot kills, and I topped the t my team for score. That was probably the best game I've ever had um, against people against good people. I've of course stomped even harder against a lot of new players, but I don't like doing that. Um, I was in the game with a bunch of new players, and I decided, you know what? All I'm going to do is kill bots. I'm not going to attack players at all. And so I was just shooting down the lane, hitting bots that are coming out of their spawner. And the enemy team kept gathering around their bots and dying from the the, uh, the splash damage from my projectiles. And I'm like, I kept yelling at them, you need to dodge, but they wouldn't. Oh, well. Until next time. Bye-bye.